first waypoint, first heading out to get to our first waypoint from where we are, making use of the navigational aids coming out here, right? And you have a bearing going out to where we're going to be, or no, it's off of this point where you're going to have something like a turn, right? Yes, it's point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bearing, uh, the basic joints yeah. bearing at the south end. Yep, yep. So, uh, for this one, uh, one more man. The right. furthest one south or furthest one west is always the best. Not necessarily the closest one, because you may, you'll see the land until you don't see land, right? So mm -hmm. uh, this one here, it's going to be the furthest out here. So that's what that's the one from the east recognizable. Which will make it that one. Yeah, you shouldn't see the one behind. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. This one is. No, no, I don't. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. yeah. You're here. You're not going to see that point. You're going to see the furthest one. Out. Right. right. You're right. talking this guy mm -hmm. here? No. So whatever the furthest one out is. I can't out. see. So whatever the furthest point out is. Yeah. Right? And how you find it out is, is based on whatever mm -hmm. bearing, or say it's on, on this angle here. That's cool. No, I was going to say that's cool. Yeah, because it's so simple. Based on me. Yeah. I find the parallel rule, especially when you're underway, trying to put it. Yes. Yeah. And that's why it's great when you're in a classroom. Yeah. It's an expensive parallel rule. It's easy for you to understand. It. You walk it from here to there. Right. But functionality wise, when you're underway, it just doesn't work. Right. Okay? Yeah. All right. Who wants to go sailing? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Perfect. Me too. Me too. Me too. Thank you, guys. Just here's the e perk. Take that with us if the ship goes down. Oh, so keep it in find a book in us. Yes. I got that. Easy way to get out. Pop this down here. Pull it out. Take that with us. And this unit here, showing it, the date, then expired to 2029. You break this tab, slide it over, push the button, it's now activated. You keep that with you. That's why it has a, a, a Velcro strap here. You can tie it, whatever, in, in your raft. That's going to save your life, especially among islands here that we're only maybe 10, 15, maybe 20 miles offshore. They're going to come and get you. Without that, I don't know where you are. Can I see the, the on switch again? Right there. Yep. Okay. Okay. And I have it, I actually have it uh, registered in Canada, the Lady Natalie. Yep. There's my number. Yep. Country Canada. That's just the model of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably still just want to go to the Yeah. This is the E perk. So you pull the, pull the tab and then you just flip it. Push the button. And then push the button. And then push the button. Okay. Okay. It's obviously going to stick for 20. <laughs> I don't figure I'm going to be selling in 2029 teaching. Yeah. It's not like <laughs> you're in the water. If you get us, you got it. Yeah, 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 it hasn't yeah. expired. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, sailing from here to St. Martin is not a, yeah. not a huge issue. You know, we're, we're only going overnight. Yeah. But if you're sailing, yeah. sailing from here, you go off the eastern seaboard, especially if you're going through, you know, that black hole there. Oh, oh my god, you know, I used to get people places. I've been through the boot, and I haven't been through the boot. I actually used 25. <laughs> <laughs> I used a little bit. Uh, so this just pulls it out. Uh, there. Are there cruise ships? Uh, crossing in that area? Oh, absolutely. Tonight we gotta watch out for cruise ships. I am military electronics. I'd like you guys to do the transport for you. By the, by the uh, compass at night. 
Helpers at night is advanced play. Wait, you'll see cruise ships. Mm -hmm. We'll see them coming. The nice thing about AIS is it tells them what they're bearing there on, what bearing we're on. And the only thing we have to concern about is that their bearings are 180 degrees apart. <laughs> right? They're coming at us, we're going after them. And I have had that happen. And it's interesting. I bear to weight 10 degrees. They bear to weight 10 degrees. <laughs> yeah. you know? Isn't that nice? Yeah. 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 And we pass more than a mile it's apart. So gracious. Yeah. We pass more than a mile apart. So just it's being aware. That's why tonight it's going to be one on watch for the first hour, one on the wheel. I'm only going to do two hours. Because it's just overnight, and then one on the wheel after you do the watch for an hour and have a watch, then you go on the wheel. Then, you know, rather than wait for, for, for an hour, right? Usually, you do four hours, or it's just a couple, three guys, three guys. Usually, you do four hours on, uh, four hours off, but then you have three and three. So, anyways, the whole watch roster is a different, different area to learn. I'm not going to all right, let's go sailing. And I will stop the trekking right there.